How are you? Hey, Mike. You? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank Good. you for joining the call. Uh, this call will be recorded. You okay with this? Sure. Wonderful. So can we begin by you telling your side of the story? What happened? What happened to you? Uh, last year, we purchased some a package appliance, appliance package. It was, you know, by four items. Then you could get the special financing. You'd get three years famous cash. So we went ahead and did it. It was a good deal. Uh, I've never purchased anything from HH Greg before, but I did this time because it was a good deal and we wanted both appliances. When I went and purchased the appliances, the microwave that was part of the package was not in stock. Apparently there was some kind of strike or something out on the west coast, so the microwave was out in the bay somewhere. I don't know. I agreed just to go ahead with the purchase. They gave me a loaner microwave for the time being. Right. That was the start of my problem. So they came and installed everything. And again, now this is last February, a year ago, February. And everything was fine. And then I would make a couple calls periodically. It's my microwave in, blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, the microwave finally comes in, in February of this year. So a year later, they say, come on in. We'll go ahead and get the paperwork signed and we'll get your new microwave delivered. Well, first of all, I thought the microwave was an exact duplicate other than I had black diamond color. Okay. Well, it wasn't. It was $167 more. No biggie. I said, okay, I'll go ahead and do it even though I thought it was supposed to be the exact same price. He said, I'll just add it to your deal. I said, fine. That's, that's perfect. You know. It should all be part of the same package, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, then we got, and since we, if this is three years, same as cash, we've been making monthly payments so that we can pay it off and not have any interest charged. The next statement we got after we added this microwave on, we were charged an extra $25 per month plus interest on the amount of the microwave. Now, it's not a lot of money, but it's still wrong. Okay. So I called um, Synchrony, the financial company that I had to apply to to get this package. I called Synchrony, and this uh, young lady says, oh, it's no problem. She said, I understand what you're saying. Just go ahead and call H.H. Gregg. Tell them that you need to have your um, microwave purchase, the extra amount of money, applied to your promotional package. It's called a promotional change. Sounded simple, okay? They contact, H.H. Gregg is supposed to contact them and let them know this is part of the promotional change. No problem. So I make the call to H.H. Gregg, talk to my salesperson. He says, okay, no problem. I'll go ahead and send him an email. Okay, I thought, well, this will be fixed. Well, then we get another statement from Synchrony. No change, no fix. I call Synchrony again. Got somebody, and again, every time I call Synchrony, and I know this is horrible, but I can't understand them, which makes it difficult to come have a proper communication as to what's going on. And so I uh, talked to this one gal, and she, she didn't quite understand what I needed, but she could tell me that they had not received a change. And, but I said, I need to know why this isn't happening. She said, well, we just haven't received it. I said, okay. I let it go that time. Then I called H.H. Gregg again and talked to my salesman. And he said, I emailed him. I'll do it again. I said, okay. So then I didn't let it go this long. I didn't let it go for the whole month this time. I went ahead and called uh, probably within a week or so and asked Synchrony if they had the promotional change yet. And she, whoever I got this time said, no, there have been no changes. And I said, well, I want to know if... She says, we don't see it on our end. That was the thing. They don't see it in their record if it comes through. And I said, well, how do you know then what's going on if you don't see it? Well, we just wait for it to come through. And I said, well, can I talk to a supervisor? Well, a supervisor is not going to know either because they don't see anything different than we see. And I thought that was rather strange, you know. Okay, so supervisors basically don't know anything either, right? So she says, well, hold on. And then she came back after about 10 minutes and said she had talked to a supervisor. Well, no, the supervisor didn't know anything. Either. So I said, okay, but as far as I knew them, that means, again, they had not received the promotional change paperwork from H.H. Gregg. Hang up, call H.H. Gregg. This time I asked for a supervisor at the store because I thought, well, maybe, you know, I knew H.H. Gregg was filing bankruptcy. 
and if it's understood that maybe the salespeople aren't as thrilled as they are to, you know, normally to help you. I understand though they're losing their job. You know, I feel for them. But I needed to get my problem resolved. So I talked to a supervisor and I talked to him and told him I'd been working with my salesman. He says, well, that person is no longer with the store. And I said, well, no big surprise. <laughs> you know, so I said, okay, here's what's been happening. Gave my whole story to him. Would you please, I asked him, would you please send another email to Synchrony so that I know it's been done, number one. I will be in today to pick up a copy of the email since he, you know, everybody says they can't forward me a copy of the email. You know, they can't, do, I know, right? They can't forward me a copy of the email. So I said, okay, how about if I come in and I'll pick up a copy? Because at that time when I talked to the supervisor, he says, well, what's happening is every time we send them an email, we get a response on an email saying that their email box is full. Synchrony email box is full. I know, right? Now, we all know Synchrony is a huge company, you know, financial company, and their email box is full. Well, now I'm starting to disbelieve H.H. Gregg, right? So I said, well, okay, you go ahead and do it. I'll be in to pick up a copy. I went in that day, picked up a copy. Sure enough, on the paperwork, and he tried to send that the promotional change, it should be this, and they got a response saying, your email account quota is over, or something their quota was over. They couldn't get any more emails because they had too many in their quota. So I, I was really kind of in disbelief, but I thought, okay. So I came home and I called Synchrony again. And uh, this time um, I got somebody who, oh, I know what it was. I came home, I called Synchrony, and again they couldn't help me. And I told them what was happening, and basically I was cut off. So then I was pissed, we're going to say, <laughs> you know, and I had used your website, the Piss Consumer, before, and I believe it was for DirecTV. And I also found this other website, and I don't know if I can mention it or not, but it's called Elliot.org, and I did, I got it from just a general search. But in, basically all it is is I can go on there and type in the company name, and what it does is it brings back information on how to contact, like, corporate uh, administrators, things like that, or they give you a real phone number, one that you can actually reach a person and stuff. So I got on and I was mad. So I got on and went to the Synchrony uh, website first. I found on their website a complaint form that I could type. I completed my complaint form. I did a whole long thing telling them how upset I was, what was happening. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to add a little fuel to the fire. I'm going to your website and I'm going to also go find out um, all of their synchrony contact information, their corporate type people. So I put in my complaint on HIS.org and I also sent this other, the same letter to the corporate emails that I received. I didn't hear anything in three days. And so then it makes me wonder, did anybody on the other end get any information or are their email boxes full too? You know, so I thought, okay, I'm going to call again. I'm not going to let it go another month called Synchrony this time. They brought up my account and, oh, the other thing that really irritates me is you've got to go through, you know, push this button, push that button, hello, speak in English, do this, blah, 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 blah. You know, it just drives me nuts. Anyway, get through. And uh, this young man that I got, actually, I could understand him quite well, but he just comes to me and says, oh, this has all been resolved. I'm like, oh, okay, I know, right? Now, I haven't heard from anybody, and as far as I know, your email box is still full, but he told me we're going to get a credit for $126 and some odd cents from now on, and I repeatedly asked him over and over, now, we're no longer going to get a charged interest, we're not going to have to pay the extra $25 a month, and this extra $160 some dollars is now going to go into our promotional package. Absolutely. You'll see it probably in the next statement. You're going to see it as one transaction. Everything is going to be resolved. Perfect. I don't know how it happened, but thank you to the powers that be. We got our statement yesterday. No, two days ago we got our statement. And lo and behold, it's not resolved. We did get the credit, which I thought, okay, that's nice. We got this credit for why, I don't know. However, we're still being charged interest, and we're still owing the extra money per month. Well, again, call the synchrony. 
column, and of course I've got to do the whole story over again, even though they supposedly have these notes, and they read them, and they say, oh yeah, I see where you've done this, and I see where you've done that, and uh, I, I'm not sure, well, you know this happened because of the, it was added separately, and I said, yes, I know that, I've been saying that for three months now. Um, so then I was really angry, and I said, you know, this really needs to be fixed, I want to talk to a supervisor. Well, their supervisor is not going to be able to help you any more than I am. And I said, well, there's, I see the credit. That's wonderful. I understand you've done something. Let's finish it up. Let's get the whole package done. Well, then she got mad at me and just kind of cut me off and put me on hold. And I thought, you know, because I, I didn't swear. I didn't yell. But you could tell I was upset. You know, you kind of get that breathless, oh, you know, I've had enough of this. And I told her, I've had enough of this. Seriously, I am done with this. Give me a supervisor. Well, click, you know, and I hear this music, and I, I waited, I waited for 15 minutes, and I thought, I could be on hold for all day. This may be this phantom line that they have, that it's a music line, and you act like you're in an elevator all day and just listen to music, you know. So I hung up. I had other things I needed to do, errands and whatnot. Came home, got back on the phone again, called sing to me. Finally got a young man, and I told him my story again, and I just finally said to him, you know what? If I can't get this resolved, I'm done. And I told them I'd been on TISConsumer.org. I had done this. I had done all this stuff. And I said, but you know what? I'm going to call Better Business Bureau. I am done with this. Immediately, he says, well, hold on. I have to give you to a supervisor. And I said, no, no, no. Do not. Do not put me on hold again. I am not going to do that. You know, because what they do is they put you on hold and hope you'll hang up, you know, or whatever. And I said, no, no, no. He said, as soon as you threaten, and those were his words, as soon as you threaten to call a higher, to talk to a higher agency, I know, right? We have to connect you to a supervisor. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that was it. I should have done that from the beginning. But in my emails and everything, I mentioned Better Business Bureau. It wasn't a new, you know, oh boy, this is a new idea. So, and I'm sorry this is such a long story, but this no, is, no, 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 you know, no. it's, it's three months of frustration is what it is. I feel it. <laughs> yeah, so, so I was on hold for 12 minutes. I thought, okay, I'm going to give them like I did before, you know, because you don't know if they're coming back or not. It's not like they come back on the line and say, hey, we're still here, we're doing something. They don't. They drop you, they're done with you. I get a supervisor. Her name was Lillian. Lillian, excuse me. She was very nice. Um didn't understand how in the world nobody could help me. Didn't understand why any of their representatives would say the supervisors didn't know what was going on. She saw all of my notes. Again, she was very kind. However, she couldn't help me either because the information has to come from H.H. H. Gregg. I said, I have copies of the email. Can I just scan it and send it to you? It's right here. I've got the paperwork. You know, she says, well, tell me exactly what it says, why it, why it wasn't coming through. And I read it to her. I gave her the email address, everything. She's like, well, she said, I can give you the 800 number to, I know, right, to H.H. H. Gregg's corporate office. And you could call them and have them go ahead because they're handling all of these situations. Now, you have to call H.H. H. Gregg's corporate office. Well, by now, I'm not trusting any 800 number or any other avenue. You know, now I'm realizing this is a joint problem between Greg and Synchrony. This is a real issue. And, um, but I said, okay, give me the number. And then we talked some more, and, I, and she said, or I could have, she said, and she said, I am going to follow up. It wasn't like an or. It was like, I am going to have somebody from our corporate office call you to help resolve this situation. And at all, I know this all was because I did the Better Business Bureau thing. You know, apparently that's the, oh my God, we can't have that happen. But she said, you know, uh, if you don't want to call the Greg 800 number. And I said, no, I have no problem calling the 800 number if something's going to get done. And she said, well, you know, I have to do it that way because it has to come from Greg. And I said, you know, out of frustration, I just said, okay, give me the number. And she said, but I will have somebody call you. And I said, well, I'll tell you what. If I don't hear from somebody at HH Square, I mean at Synchrony, and I gave them seven business days. I said, I will give them seven business days to contact me. And I even made sure if they called, if I didn't answer, they'd leave a message. Because me, like millions of other people, 
we don't answer the phone if we don't recognize the number. You know, we don't. And so I was concerned they would call and just say, he tried to call and nobody answered. And she said, oh, no, they'll leave a message. They'll leave a message. And I said, okay, fine. So I gave my home phone number and hoping that will happen. But I it was very firm and, and very, um, there should be no confusion in what I said. Seven business days I will give you. I said, I will not call back. I will not do anything other than I will call the Better Business Bureau and make a file, file of formal complaint. So, hang up. I called HH Greg's 800 number. On hold for probably 25, 30 minutes, you know, wait to, you know, push that button, push that button, stand on your head, do a backflip, all that stuff, you know. Um, and finally somebody came on and she, you could tell she wasn't very happy at her job and I understand why. Again, these people are all going to be out of a job. I'm very sympathetic to that. However, I need to have this taken care of. So, another 15 minutes, as you can tell by my story, telling her what's been going on. Um, she says, well, you know, that wasn't put on as a promotional, part of your promotional package. That's why you're having this problem. I said, I know that. I've known that for four, three, four months now. And I said, but it should have been part of the package. Well, I hear her typing away, you know, as we're talking. And finally she says, well, okay, she says, uh, I sent a note to my supervisor. <laughs> Again with the supervisor. I sent a note to my supervisor, and uh, this should be taken care of in two to three. No, she said, you'll see the change in two to three business cycles, two or three uh, billing cycles from Synchrony. <laughs> I know, right? So you have to pay yeah. two or three months more two or three charges. more months now to, to see if it's resolved. Well, by two or three months, then nobody may have a phone number by that time, you know. HH so Greg would be out of business, perhaps, by that time. Absolutely. And then absolutely. it's not going to be their problem anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're so right, Mike. You're so right. So I'm like, whatever. Okay, fine. So um, I said, can you please, because she said, I just emailed. I said, would you please send me a copy of that email? Just forward me a copy. I'll give you my email address. Oh, no, I can't do that. I, she says, but I can give you a reference number. Okay, if you can give me a reference number. She probably said this, you know what, is hassling me. And, well, anyway. So I took the reference number, and I hung up, and I looked at my husband, and I said, I don't know if this is resolved or not, but until the next time. I, you know, now we have to wait two to three business cycles. Now, I am anticipating a call from um, Synchrony, from the corporate office. In my opinion, if indeed all of this has been done behind the scenes, by the time corporate office calls me, I would assume they can say, yes, we got the promotional change information and we have fixed your billing and this is what it will show. Oh, and there's one more little little thing in this that I forgot to mention. The nice little $126 credit that we got was not really a credit. The supervisor told me, she said, if you look further down on your bill um, under the transaction, what he did, she said, he just gave you a credit trying to move the amount of money over somewhere else. So you got the credit, but he also gave you the debit to recharge you. The <laughs> I, know, I, know. I was beside myself. I said, oh my gosh, here I'm thinking at least you did part of it right, but none of it was done right, and you just added more fuel to my fire. What is wrong with you people? You know, so this is where I'm at right now with all of this. And I think, and I even reposted on um, your website yesterday saying, you know, this has not been resolved. This is just still in limbo. And, you know, a lot of people would say, you know what, you're doing all of this for that amount of money. Well, yeah, I am. I, I'm retired. My husband's retired. It's not like we have all this money coming in. You know, we waited a long time to get those appliances and to get the right deal. And, you know, it, and by the time you add $25 a month for the next two and a half years and you add the interest and, you know, I'm going to be paying another six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a $200 microwave or whatever it was, you know. Doesn't no, I can't afford to do that. What's right is right. Just because they're big business does not mean they cannot pay attention to my needs. And uh, so luckily I am retired, I guess, and I can sit around and be on the phone for hours. Not that I like it, but, you know, my time is important. My time is, is worth something, too. And uh, But, yeah, once something like this happens to me, I tend to want to go all the way with it because what's right is right. 
And uh, so that's why I use your website. That's why I love your website. And the other websites where I can find the information I need to get to the people I need to get to. Um, you know. Chris, what I can suggest to you, a couple of things. Okay. Uh, first of all, our website has a new call feature. Okay. Where you can actually call customer service of another company and have it and have it recorded right from our website. Ah. So whatever you were told and then people went back on will not happen to you yet. Oh, that's marvelous. So now it's not only the company that has a power to record all the phone conversation, which they do, but you have a power to record it and get it into your mailbox. So, oh, that's awesome. So uh, when visiting our website next time, feel free to do that. Take a look at it. Oh, well, I will. I will definitely do that. That's a feature that I will love because trying to prove all of this to anybody, you know, who knows? They sit there and they're typing these notes, but you don't know what they're typing. They may say this crazy lady from, you know, the state of Ohio or Illinois or Arkansas was called and, and said this, this, and that. And, you know, you don't know if they're really trying to help you or not, you know, so. Another benefit from this uh, conversation you're going to get, so you've spent a wonderful 20 minutes rehashing <laughs> your story. I, I'm hoping this is for the last time. The reason is we're going to put it online. It will be publicly available. And Yay! you can just point everyone to it. <laughs> I so, will. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page with a link. Go watch this. This is how you've got to take care of these businesses that want you to be ignored. You know, my husband always says they're just hoping that you go away. You know, that's what and, they're hoping. And that's uh, what our website tries to avoid and help people to address their issues. And there is definitely miscommunication between HH Greg and Synchrony that's going yeah. on. And that miscommunication is probably hurting people and you are not alone in that situation. Oh, I'm sure. And I know it'll probably get worse. I mean, because of HH Greg's issues. And if they use Synchrony, now they know that Synchrony is not the best option either. I'll tell you, I, it'll be, I don't know that I'd ever use Synchrony again for anything, you know, so it was just one of those things that if I wanted that deal, you know, plus the other thing that was very enticing about the deal, if I got this package, I would get a $300 rebate via like a Visa credit card or something like that. So that takes another $300 off the cost of the package to use anywhere, you know. So I'm like, wow, what a great deal. But the catch was, the caveat was I had to apply for this card through Synchrony. Well, okay, I can do that for the savings and for this great deal. So, yeah, well, lesson learned, you know. Not everything is as rosy as it appears on the surface. Understood, okay. Chris. Thank you for your time. Thank uh, you, Mike, very much. We're going to edit the video, and we're going to send you before it gets published. So okay. you will have an opportunity to look at yourself before it gets published online. Oh, whoopee, You'll whoopee. I may say, no, no, don't post it, don't post it. <laughs> Okay. okay, Mike, thank you thank for your interest in my issues, and hopefully this will help many others, and your website is marvelous. I so appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Take Mike. Care. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.